before you put the head on, you want to make sure that you have the right O-rings. The O-rings for this bottom side are a very similar size to the O-rings on the top side. The larger of the two O-rings goes underneath the head, and the slightly smaller one will go on top of the head underneath the valve cap. And it helps to have some grease nearby to put into these O-ring grooves. It'll help keep it in there so you don't have a chance of it slipping out and getting pinched when you tighten the head down. So now we can just put the head on. Notice that the bolt that goes through the valve cap is a little bit longer than the rest of them. Make sure that you put these shorter ones around the head and then this longer one through the valve cap. Next we can reinstall the valves. One of them <clears throat> on this side had already been still in the pump. See this one here? And they, they'll face opposite directions. So you want this one to be in this way and this one to be in that way. <clears throat> they will only fit one way. Now you'll want to put the valve o ring down in there first. You want to wait to do this until now. Um, you want to wait until after you tighten these down to put that o-ring in so you don't have a chance of pinching it when you tighten the head down. So drop that in like that. And then you'll need the o-ring for this side. Push that down in there all the way. And then there are two o-rings under this valve cap. You want to make sure that they're the correct ones. These are the smaller of the two that are this similar size. And it helps to put a little grease on the o-ring groove to help keep it in there. You want to push these in first before tightening the valve cap down. You want to meet this up so this side meets up with this valve and this longer side meets up with the one that's facing down into the crankcase. Careful not to move that o-ring so you don't pinch it. Take this longer bolt, tighten that down. Torque the head bolts to 175 inch pounds in a crisscross pattern to run the head down evenly. As you're putting it together, it's a good idea to turn the pump a few times to make sure that you don't have one of these sleeves crooked. If one of them is if one of them is turned a little bit, then you'll feel the pump lock up. You'll have to take the head off and reposition that sleeve. You also want to make sure to put these bases back on in the correct orientation.
Now that we've installed our new diaphragms and put the heads and valves back in, the next thing to put on is this seal. You want to put a little oil around it. You don't want to reuse the old seal even if it looks okay because it's not going to fit in there as tight as a new one. Remember that this is one of the things keeping water out of your oil. Just press that straight in by hand. Just push that in flush. And then we'll reinstall the suction manifold. And you'll want to make sure that this O-ring is in place. You can put a dab of grease on there to help hold it in. If you do have a pinched O-ring on this suction manifold or on the valve caps or on the heads, then it'll draw in air and give you some performance trouble. And here again, be careful not to strip these bolts out. Last thing is to reinstall the oil sight glass and fill the pump with 30 weight non detergent oil. As you fill this, you'll notice that it, it'll bubble through the sight glass. You want to fill it, let it bubble out, fill it again, let it bubble, fill it again. Basically what you want to do is get oil behind the diaphragm. So if you take a couple of metric bolts, you can screw those into the crankshaft so you have something to hang on to. Turn the pump both ways repeatedly until you don't see any more bubbles in the sight glass. It also helps to tip it to the side a little bit. That sound is the valves working. Now that we've gotten all the air bubbles out of the crankcase, put the oil cap back on. I'm ready to bolt it back up and start spraying. This concludes our training for the 9910-D403. Feel free to give us a call at 1-800-468-3428 on our service line or visit our website at hyperopumps.com.